just okay one more again we share information uh share stream on youtube or no or just starting uh, no we have uh, streaming on youtube okay okay mm -hmm. good mm -hmm. we have 32 participants great yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello, dear participant. I see that you, uh, some of uh, you were active in chat. Hello, Maxim. I suppose that we will start in one, two minutes. After all tech, uh, tech deals. Okay, great. I see that we are ready. Oh, good evening to all from Germany. It's really good tradition uh, in our webinars when people um, write from which country, uh, from Indonesia. It's super. Mexico, great. Portugal. Awesome. Serbia, so many countries. Nepal, wow. Mm -hmm. Porto, Portugal, okay, great. Sweden, nice, nice to see you here. Okay, I see that Australia, great. Argentina, wow. <laughs> Romania, Lithuania, wow. Mm -hmm. Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose maybe you just uh, write uh, some names of countries, <laughs> maybe because it's really great, uh, great to have so wide uh, participants from around the world. Okay, uh, dear participants, uh, um, welcome to the webinar project management at the universities from local to global. Today's webinar is organized in collaboration with APME Seek Smarter You, and it's uh, held within the 32nd APME World Congress on project management, which will be held offline in Saint Petersburg and online from uh, 21 to 23 September 2021. Uh, in the chat, you can see link on Congress website. If you have some question about our Congress, uh, I will be happy to answer. My name is Vinyamin Kizeyev. I'm a director of uh, the 32nd IPME World Congress and global head of Smarter UC IPME. And today I am moderating this webinar. Uh, we have series of webinar about uh, this theme because we have a lot of different country and we need to share all experience. Uh, the APME Smarter Youth Special Interest Group solves the challenge of large, complex projects in universities around the world. And if you are interested in the topic of developing project management in universities, I really encourage uh, you to register on the website and become a member of our group and our community. And also you can see the link to APME Smarter Youth Special Interest Group in the chat. The webinar will take one hour and a half. A recording of the webinar will be sent to participants and posted on the Congress website. Today we have three great speakers. Uh, thank you for our speaking that you are here. After speaker's presentation, there will be a discussion uh, where you will be able to consider actual issues. And please be active, ask questions in the chat room during the speaker's presentation. Ask question by voice at the designed the time and com comment on the speaker's presentation. All options you can use. Okay, and now I uh, give the floor to Professor Harald Wenz uh, for first uh, our 
speech, the topic of his report, Project Management at German Universities. Dear Harald, yes, so we see your presentation. Well, thank you for the introduction and a warm welcome from me. I'm Harald Venus, and I will give you a short overview about project management at German universities. I would like to begin with some words about my person. I work at the University of Würzburg in the Institute of Computer Science. And uh, the German uh, uh, Association of Project Management is a GPM, a Gesellschaft für Projektmanagement. And I was a member of the executive board for, responsible for the education. And I was also the manager of the program committee PM Forum. I think that's the biggest uh, Congress in Europe, more than thousand participants the last years. And today I speak also about the SIG special interest group project management at universities. I were several decades uh, in um, industry, also in research centers, universities. And during this time, I brought my practical experience to the university and I took new theories, new methods, and I applied them in uh, my jobs at uh, the research center and industry. Today, I'm also a volunteer uh, and I also uh, teach, for example, at the University of German uh, Kazakhian University, Almaty, and at HUST, Hanoi University of Science and Technology. That's a short agenda overview about courses, study programs, and trends in Germany. Some words about our SIG um, and applications of uh, project management in university administration, in research, and uh, just an example, my lecture about modern project management. Well, you know, uh, project management plays an important role in Germany, in the German industry, and it's increasing. Um, there was a report about it and a survey, and uh, the value was about 41% in the year 2019, 41.3% uh, uh, project management uh, uh, over all industries. Some industries more, some less. Well, have a look at the courses and studies in project management. You'll find lectures and project management is only a small part. Then you have general lectures about project management with exercises, with projects. And you have, you find also special lectures. For example, project portfolio management, program management, and something like this with exercises and projects. Some universities apply something like a project management canon. That means uh, a lot of uh, lectures about project management are combined together with exercises and projects. And we also have uh, universities with a study program. We have already the, the bachelor degree and there's a study program for master. And after the two years, you're a master of project management. Here are the, the trends. Um, I think project management is applied in all fields of study nowadays. And we have more and more lectures and study programs in English. And international project management has an, also an increasing role. Uh, same uh, is for, uh, for student projects with external stakeholders. And the content of project management is changing from traditional, pure traditional project management to the combination traditional, agile, and hybrid project management. 
Well, some words about our SIG, project management at universities. Uh, we started in the year 2014. Uh, we made a restart of the SIG, it was formed in 2010 and uh, nothing happened. So we started with nine members. On the right-hand side, you see Doris and Claudia, we three work together. And in this year, or already in the last year, we have now the 350 members in our SIC, and they come from 130 universities. Not only Germany, we also have members from Switzerland, Austria, uh, Netherlands, and also Denmark. It's, I think, the largest project management network of German-speaking universities. And this is our motto, give and take. One gives, one person gives a highlight of his uh, experience and all the others can take it. Networking plays an important role, sharing experience, but also sharing of slide sets, case studies, handouts, exercises, templates, tool, you can nearly share everything. Um, also collaboration, I think it's very important writing books together. We have a lot of examples or publications to, together. So you also have a, a something like a quality assurance if uh, two or three per people work together on a book or on a paper. And also implementation and publication of joint studies, research project, in, we have increasing research project. And uh, we have our social events. events. Today we are missing them. Uh, I think the same situation as in your country. So you see the membership development. I hope it goes on in this way. We have some website sites. This is the website of, um, just look at the spotlight. Here we have the, the, the literature, uh, here the, the learning concepts, teaching concepts, research, organizations, awards, and methods. There's another website. Uh, we work together with the Society of uh, Simulation Games and uh, this so-called Saxaga. It's a society from German, uh, Switzerland, and Switzerland and Austrian people. And we have here the, the so-called uh, project management games, serious project management games. And in the GPM, German uh, Deutsche Gesellschaft für Projektmanagement, we have uh, around 35 six, and this is the website of our uh, um, SIG. Well, I think very important is the outcome of the SIG. Not only coming together, the deliverables are very important. And here we have a look at the uh, activities from last year. We are very lucky uh, starting last year with two great events. We had an exploratory symposium, reinventing project management and research in a great uh, uh, research center in Munich. And we also met more than 50 participants from four nations, 20 speakers um, offline in Munich uh, University of Applied Science. Here's the entrance of the building. Then Corona came and we took this as a chance and had uh, six online video conferences about online lecturers at the beginning to survive online teaching and then best practices in online teaching. Sharing our experience, it was a great uh, development. We, had, uh, we changed the, 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 the conference uh, in, which was uh, uh, planned for Berlin uh, to an online conference, the same date. And we had there 20 speakers and also more than 50 participants. And in November, we had another conference about project management at universities. Uh, the activities in this year, 
are we are just in a uh, we, we we thought about to repeat the symposium and the solutions very simple we made an online symposium but you can't make an online symposium two days, I think. So we split it and have every week uh, for uh, three to four hours um, from my the 4th to June uh, 22nd. So next week we have our the last module of this conference. We had a special conference on digital examinations a um, conference about EduScrum relationships, very important when you teach online, relationship building in synchronous digital settings, necessity and implementation, and to look forward, what virtual teaching do we need? What's the teaching of the future? And at the end of this month, we have our next conference about digital, digital games. Uh, we think about conferences about data privacy compliant tools for digital education and sustainability. Um, also, the, the, the administration at the universities, they also do projects. And I think it's good that they use project management. And um, we have developed a working group with staff from university PMOs, have developed a white paper with the success factors for controlling complex project landscapes at universities and the administration. The, the, the white paper shows a lot of uh, case studies, successful case studies, who helps under, under uh, other universities. Um, as I told you, project management in research, our exploratory uh, uh, symposium. In my mind, traditional project management is contraproductive for research pro projects. Why? You when you do research, you can't make a plan for one year or two years or something like this. You have a hypothesis, you make your experiment, you have your result, and then you plan the next, uh, uh, develop the next hypothesis, you make the next result, uh, the next uh, test, and, uh, and so on. But it's not a way of plan driven project management, it's a way of agile project management. So, uh, this course, we have 30 researchers, uh, research, researchers from five countries. And they apply modern project management uh, methods on their research project. They learn the method, then they apply the method with help from uh, 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 consultants. Uh, that, uh, uh, and they apply design thinking, project canvas, lean startup, scrum, and Canva. And yeah, these are the, the, the methods in the big picture. And it's not only uh, um, sufficient to apply the methods, you also need an agile mindset. Otherwise, uh, um, you don't uh, have the results you're looking for. Well, uh, my lecture at the University of Würzburg, we come to the end. I started in the year 2000 and only traditional project management. Then I think at about 2010, small part, HR project management, not applying HR project management, just give them the, the, the methods, the theory of, of HR project management. Then further on, uh, you see on the right, uh, the hybrid uh, project management, that means combination of traditional and uh, HI project management. Then the switch some years ago. Now I start with HI project management. I did, don't forget the uh, traditional project management and also hybrid project management uh, uh, is uh, a bigger part in my lecture. All the projects are in cooperation with business partners. And here the, the, the objectives 
for the, the participants of my course. These are master students from different uh, uh, study areas, mostly uh, um, computer science, but also diversity, diversity management and business management and uh, human uh, computer interface and something like this. I want to motivate them for the uh, for project management and they have cool projects. Uh, they uh, have different roles, project manager, product owner, scrum master, and these external, external clients. And they uh, uh, work together interdisciplinary. I think it's a very important uh, step before they go to the business jobs. Well, this is a roadmap, the big picture of the uh, methods. I start with design thinking, creating ideas, then the project design, design the project. Um, then we have the lean startup method and uh, edit with story mapping. And the result of this, it's, uh, the, the, the planning of the MVP is the input for the first scrum print where you create the MVP 1.0. Then we have the customer feedback, next sprint, MVP 2.0, customer's feedback, sprint three, and then have a uh, challenge uh, uh, at the end of the semester, the project yard where we also have a jury and uh, give prizes. And here on the bottom, you see, don't forget the traditional project management and the hybrid project management. They also learn uh, how to make a work back breakdown structure, um, um, phase plan, milestone plan, and uh, something like this. And for me, it's, it's important that they're able to use uh, the, the, the toolbox, the box of methods. Uh, I give them uh, and to apply the, these, these uh, methods uh, um, that they can get the best result. This is the content, sorry, it's in German, norms and standards proceeding uh, uh, models for project management, leadership, traditional project management, then agile and hybrid project management. We go uh, uh, in the deep with, uh, the, the, with, with a lot of agile um, methods, uh, especially the, the lean startup, design thinking, and Scrum, we also have uh, Kanban, uh, and uh, here we have the, the hybrid project management. Uh, what's, what's the best combination? Find out the best combination for your speci specific uh, uh, um, project. There's not a hammer for all solutions. Well, thank you for listening to me. I think the IPMA family is a very strong community and let us commun communicate and share our experience. Thank you, Harold. It's really unbelievable uh, about your community and about your experience, how to teach uh, students. And I have a few questions <laughs> if I can. First of all, um, uh, it's really big increasing about projectification here in your country. And where does your industry get project managers? Because I know that it's really big, big trouble when we can take new project manager. Well, uh, I think um, project managers have uh, uh, good uh, uh, jobs in the, the industry. Yeah. And there are several ways to become a project manager. Yeah, I was I never <laughs> listened a lecture about project management. Yes, 
And uh, when I started at the university at Würzburg, I was a project manager, but not a, 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 um, not a, a theoretic uh, person who knew all the methods. And it was good for me to learn the methods, to teach them the, to the students and to apply them in my company. And with this experience, going back and uh, uh, sharing the experience. And that's uh, also the, the thing in our SIG, we share experience. We come often, yeah, you saw it, uh, 10 times or more per year together. It's very uh, important to meet very often uh, and, and uh, have, there are so many uh, topics on project management. And uh, uh, you saw last year, we had uh, two uh, big conferences and uh, 20 speakers each time. So there, and then uh, uh, even uh, topics with low interest, you find two or three people, they take this topic and, and create words, papers, making studies. Yeah, uh, thank you. And uh, dear participants, uh, I want that, uh... Uh, maybe you uh, write plus or minus in chat uh, about next question. In your country, there is a community of project managers developing project management at universities. Uh, one more. In your country, there is a community of project managers developing project management university or no? Plus or minus about your country uh, in the chat. And also one more question uh, for Harald. What is the driver to work together and develop the community? So many universities, so many people. What's, what's the main yeah. driver? Um, I think um, they, uh, um, they know the value, the value of coming together. They know the value of coming together and uh, the 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 other the the important point is is uh, um, to create deliverables, not just teaching about something to have deliverables. Mm -hmm. yeah? For example, books, papers, common uh, studies, surveys. Yeah, to work together on a topic and also to, to tell the others about uh, the, the special experience. Yeah? I think that's, uh, and, and when we have the, um, the, the uh, offline meetings, the people have to, the, the participants have to drive um, some more than thousand kilom kilometers. They have to, uh, to stay overnight for two days and they pay it on their own. So it's a really <laughs> benefit for them to go there. Yeah? It's also a nice event. Yeah? We, we, we uh, um, uh, uh, go to an uh, uh, exhibition in the evening, for example, have a, a meal together, to have some wine or beer together, yeah, and... Uh, uh, but it's also important, the network uh, uh, that uh, uh, after the meeting and you have a, a, a special problem, you can call a person. Yeah. And, and I think that's also very important to have someone you can talk to. And I think most of the problems are <laughs> always the same, yeah? So you can, can share the problems and share the solution, yeah? And I yeah. think that's, that's worth to, to come together and to, and that's the, the, the basis for, for the developing of such a big group. I would never expect we started with nine people that today we are uh, 350. Of course, in the group are some uh, producers and also some uh, um, um, consumer. Yeah, it's normal. I try to develops the consumer to producer to ask them you're now here in this community 
for two years. I would like, or please uh, uh, give a talk about your special uh, topic. Yeah. Huh? yeah, yeah. And I think everyone has something he's very special. I always think I have some things that are very special, some things are very poor. I don't want to talk about my poor parts. Uh, and everyone uh, uh, pre presents his best, best off, yeah. So we have a great, have great events. Okay, dear Harold, and two Sorry more. For the uh, long <laughs> yeah, and two more, but very short question. First of all, is there an English version of the GPM website or no, or only Germany? That's only German. Only Germany. Okay. And next short question where you put change management methods for persons? I believe project and change goes by hand. Yeah. Change management is also together with stakeholder management. Always when you have change projects, stakeholder management plays the important role. And you use this uh, uh, method uh, for change uh, projects. Yeah? Sometimes you have real change projects. Sometimes a part of the, the project is a change project. When I uh, had a big... Uh, uh, um, in, uh, introducing a new uh, um, system uh, at a company with uh, 10,000 users, new IT system, uh, concentrating uh, uh, IT yeah, from 50 uh, places to one big uh, computer center. There was also a lot of change management. So you had to give the, the, the people which, where the, uh, their jobs changes, a perspective where there uh, a place in the new world. And then they help you. Otherwise, oh, they don't know. <laughs> then they, they, they don't help you. And they <laughs> um, yeah. So it's very yes. important. Thank you, Harold. We answered, dear participant, we answered absolutely all questions uh, sent uh, in the chat. And after all, uh, speakers we also have discussion okay we need to uh, go to our next uh, speakers thank you harold and the next speakers is uh, german gayarda professor of engineering faculty of university at de peru president of ipma peru and today he will give a presentation art in education of project management thank you german yeah we see your presentation but we don't uh, listen to your microphone Hello, can you hear yeah, me now? Great, absolutely. Okay, so let me check, please. Yeah, great. Okay. Okay, good, more, good morning. I, I was going to say good morning, good morning, but it is good evening for you. Here in Peru is uh, 9.30 a.m. Well, it is nice to be with you today and let me share some reflections and some thoughts about art in project management education. Uh, okay, so the project manager, the project manager uh, has uh, needs some foundations. One important foundation is the knowledge, of course, the other one is experience. But I think also that it is very important, the attitude, the way the project management is, how he, how he handled his attitude. No? Uh, all these three things are part of, the, of a nice uh, thing, element, which is the competence. So the competence somehow is a wisdom mixture between knowledge, knowledge, experience, and attitude. From experience, we can have uh, abilities, we can have skills, no? So the knowledge, where is the knowledge? When people think where is the knowledge, mainly the knowledge is at the university until now. I think this little by little is changing the world we can find knowledge in some other places. 
Uh, in the university, mainly, there is a convergent thinking. Convergent thinking is when you are very disciplined, when you have a process, when you have a methodology, when you have a lot of order, then you have a convergent thinking. And also at the university, it is, uh, it is very common to, to privilege, to have a privilege for the intellectual intelligence. But the knowledge, it is not necessarily uh, the intelligence. Some people are, have a misunderstanding about these two important things, and they are confused about knowledge and intelligence. And many people think that the accumulation of knowledge is uh, the person who has good intelligence. So what is uh, uh, intelligence? Intelligence, it is not the accumulation of knowledge. Intelligent, it is not a collection of encyclopedias or books. Intelligence is more than that. Uh, this famous uh, investigator research, researcher says that the value of an education is not learning of many facts. It's not learning facts but the training of the mind to think. No? So the first point important in the education in general, but especially in project management, is to develop intelligence better than knowledge, better than a collection of knowledge. So training of the mind to think, and he says also something that cannot be learned from textbooks meaning that we need to think out of the box, which is very popular, you know, say. Uh, so this gentleman has a very strong intelligence. And with, the, with this, with profound and deep thinking, you can discover new things. So it's a way to have, to promote creativity, to stimulate our creativity, to think, okay? But think, things, that are out of the book. Of the book. <laughs> this new mindset, it says that uh, then the project manager needs knowledge or better intelligence, experience, and good attitude. This is competence, as we say. The university has convergent thinking and intelligence, intellectual intelligence. And the competence, I would say that uh, where, where we can find, where is demanding the, the competence? Well, at the real life. In the real life, in the real work every day, they need people, uh, competent people. Meaning, people who make the things done, as many project managers know. We, we need to make the things done. So this is a very clear demand. So knowledge, is uh, better than knowledge, I would say is intelligence. We need to stimulate intelligence. The experience is very much uh, related with the skills and the attitude, it is the way you are. If you want to be creative, you want to, if you want to manage yourself, if you have con auto control, if you want to discover new ideas, it's an, an attitude also. It's a kind of attitude. This clear demand, all these three things, are part not for convergent thinking, but for a divergent thinking, which is somehow to, to break the, the recipe, to, to, to write a new recipe, to, to write a new methodology, but but for doing that, you need to think, you need to, to, to be courage to destroy the, the old recipe. So divergent thinking is somehow a kind of disorder you need. Because with this disorder, you can create new things. If you are too much convergent, if you are too much disciplined, then creativity will not have place or room in your work. So you need to have a divergent thinking also. And also the demand is for not only for intellectual, for IQ, 
intellectual intelligence, but also for emotional intelligence. Those are very important things. When I was uh, reflectioning about this, uh, I, I would say that uh, you need in the life of a project management manager uh, a balance. Not everything has to be convergent, but also doesn't have to be divergent. You need to balance. You, you need to have some wisdom to do it, to put in the right place those, those parts. But, but in Latin America, especially, many methodologies, many convergent thinking only. So we need to be more divergent. And also in many universities in Latin America, in general, I would say, maybe there are few of them that are not, but many of them has a very good privilege for the intellectual intelligent. And they do, do not stimulate and promote and inspire the people for understanding the emotional thinking. So we need to make a, a clear balance, a good balance between these two things that are important in the life, according to my, my reflections. But also this clear demand needs a, a, a great base. And this base is why I am doing this not just doing well with knowledge, with experience and with good attitude and with good creativity, with good art, with good uh, way of being, but also why, why is there profound reason, the deep reason, and this is the purpose, a purpose, a philosophy of life. What are the main points? What are your values? And this is connected, as I was saying, also with ethics, with values, with motivation. So this clear demand of the society, of the, of the industry, of the works, has the supply at the university. The university has to teach uh, not uh, problems with one exact solution, but with more than one solution, try to, try to put cases uh, connected very much with the real life, uh, with the real context we have. And we should not only assess the students only because the things they know, but because the emotional intelligence. Who, who are they? Why they are doing so? Why they are reacting in that way if they understand their emotions or not? So we need to have a, a new professor, more competitive. Professor 1.0 just give you the instruction, professor 2.0, uh, instruction plus some management, professor, professor 3.0 also help you and understand and, and somehow uh, understand why you are doing the things. No, the, 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 it, it is more uh, reflecting, it is more, it, it is deeper. No? So this is the, the professor. The competence, I think that it is the value of a person. And the value of a person is how much knowledge you have, how much experience you have. And these are things that are summing, but this is multiplied by the attitude. The knowledge, please think before doing. This is very important in project management. E is experience, the, develop, the development of skills. A is attitude, the altitude, the attitude is very important because A multiplies the other one, the other factors are summing, but A multiplies. And happen that if there are no good attitudes or disposition, dispositions, even the best can be misinterpreted. In this case, A is negative, no? I'm sorry, I am mixing this Spanish <laughs> with English. It should be is, no? In this case, A is negative, meaning that attitude can destroy your PhD and can destroy your 30 years of experience. So it is important to have the right attitude, no? So what is received? Ad modum recipientis recipiture. The things that are received take the shape of the container that contains them. 
So if my recipient, it is okay, if I have the right attitude, then my PhD and my years of experience will be, will have more value, but can happen in the other way also. We can destroy this with a bad attitude. So A is behavior. I would say that A is wisdom, is the way you are, is the way that you behave. It's, it's, a, it's a way to savor the life, to enjoy the life, to discover what are the important things in the life, in your project, what are the important things. And don't, don't, don't put so much focus in minor details, but go to the main points. No. Try to try to understand that the important things in the project should be the more important, no, and put in the right place these important things. So develop competences for me is develop your being, your intelligence, understanding and thinking and reflecting about the knowledge, and your will. Will for having good experience, to apply the knowledge, and will to have a good attitude. A possibility is that, uh, of course, train the mind, of course, tra uh, think out of the box, but may happen that, uh, for example, in this uh, sad case, uh, he didn't want to meet his daughter, Lizard. Nothing is known about her fate. And he also reject his two sons, one of whom was schizophrenic. So weak will. And this is happening very much in the in this world. People with a lot of uh, knowledge, a lot of thinking, with strong intelligence, but weak will to do the right things, to look for the good. So person, a person, a project manager, can have capabilities, commitment, and action. Capabilities means that, look, I can do this because, look, I have knowledge and I have experience. So I have the capability, I can do it. Commitment is, it is not just uh, the green one in the ICB4 is very much connected with the practice competences. That's why I put it here somehow in color green. Green is the color of the of the practice of the knowledge of the in the in the ICB4. But commitment is a purple like action because commitment is look I I want to do it. I have the will to do it. This is a attitude. My attitude is to do it. I want to I want to do it. And the action is I not only want to do it, but I am, I am doing, I do it. And this is also attitude. Happen that if I have capabilities and I have commitment, but I do not have the action, I don't put in action this, then I am a dreamer. I am a sleepy head. Okay, I'm, I am just dreaming, but I am not taking action happen that if I have a strong commitment, I want to do it, but I don't do it, and, and I do it, I'm sorry, and I do it, meaning that I, that, I am, that I am good, but unable, because I don't have the science, I don't have the, the knowledge, I don't have the experience, meaning that the person is good, but unable to do it well. And also the compliance, is the intersection of action and capabilities, meaning that I am fulfilling, I am complying, no? But at the same time, I don't have the commitment, meaning that I am lying. Comply, but lie. The only way to, to do well all these three things is I have the capability, I have the commitment, and I do it, it is competence. And if you put purpose, a profound purpose to this competence, then you can talk about virtue, which is a better value than competence, because virtue is always positive. Competence, sometimes according to some psychologists, could be negative. No? 
then then uh, project management education we need to develop then the training to think of course the more you think the more intelligent you are the more creative you become and think out of the box important to say that a healthy intelligence looks always for the truth the other part is the will an education that encourages encourages a change for better is transcendent and it has a value only when we are able to generate new health through our projects is when we are in a position to let others the society and yourself participate in that wealth wealth in this context is not only money but also non-tangible wealth that is expressed in different kind of benefits for others and also for the society the more exercise of your will to seek the good the more wealth generation for your project first and then for others including yourself also it's important to say to say that a healthy will looks always for the good why why i am saying this because now we are living in a book world and in this book world especially i don't know in, in europe but especially in latin america uh, um, people is confused there is a a huge a huge confusion no about what is truth and what is good and some people are having this uh, confusion no they are confused about this <clears throat> so we need to use intelligence and, and will in the project management to understand to understand that project is an, an element that creates that generates wealth the, the the real meaning of wealth not only in the money as i was saying generates wealth for companies for institutions for people but important for the project manager for his personal and his family life in that way we will have good savior and good taste of the life and we will say in this work in this project management work it is worth that i invest my time the best of me is in this world because it is worth it is worthwhile to do it because enriches not only the pocket but also my capabilities my attitudes my knowledge my experience my skills when when this is understood profoundly everything i think it is understood the soul of the project has been has been understood and its deepest essence something that goes far beyond all the methodologies and certifications that are offered project manager then is a generator of wealth of creativity and good project management is human is not just a techni technical or artificial intelligence no the project manager is is profoundly human there is a beautiful book of um, dr henry petrosky he talks about the engineering is human the engineering, the, the engineering is human and he says that uh, the role of failure in the successful design this is the the, the 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 name of the book and i would say that project management is human is is profoundly human it's not just a collection of techniques tools and skills and in this case is the role of competence in a in a successful project this is a very ambitious goal because it is easy to teach uh, knowledge it is very hard to teach how to how to manage our will how to educate our will it is important to educate professionals who achieve those project goals who are a real reference for those with whom they share their daily activities and professionals who are reliable many businessmen in peru especially where is my country now are looking for people reliable 
because the big corruption that happened in our country, and I would say also in Latin America, makes, makes this uh, as a need, as a must. We need reliable project managers, professionals whom everyone looks, looks at when problems arise. It is key to educate a true project manager, a project director. Project manager is the 21st century professional for any entity that wishes to be competitive, to be creative, no, to win, no, and understand success as a reality. Project management is the answer to any crisis. In Peru, we have a disaster in the vaccine, in the, in the pandemic, because we didn't have competent project managers in the health sector. So we have huge problems and many people die because of this. Okay, so it is very, very key for people, for, for a district, for a province, for a country, no, to have good uh, project managers with this high develop of the competences that, uh, that can digamos, manage the crisis, the way to overcome them and the most effective roadmap to minimize risk and past mistakes. Knowing all about project management and being in possession of the corresponding certification is necessary. Of course, it is necessary to have knowledge. Of course, it is necessary, it is good to have certifications, but it is not longer enough because if you do not have to apply this into projects, and this is an art, how to apply them. It's not able, if, if the project manager is not able to transform, no, to transform that knowledge into, into successful, to transform the need into solution, and this is creativity, is not able to create or transform into wealth to enrich others, no? Uh, then this knowledge or his or her knowledge is useless. <clears throat> no? So it's important to achieve this by internalizing external meanings that no, are given to you, not, not achieve this uh, by internalizing this but developing your representation by creating new solutions. It is a work hard, it's a hard work, but it is well worthy. How we will achieve this? Well, I think we can achieve this at the university in the higher education institutions uh, with a combination of science, of techniques, of methodologies, of uh, artificial intelligence, and everything, plus also art not trying to inspire and trying to understand the importance to have a strong intelligence, but also a strong will. No, this combination will turn the person in some extraordinarily effective and profitable and very difficult to, to replace. No, here, sometimes I see my students, they like to act, they love to do things, they do not think before doing things. And that not only happened to, to, to young people, also happened for mature people, for seniors. I am also teaching people of 30, 40, 50, 60 years old. And, and some of them are, has a strong uh, connection to do things, do things. But before doing, we need to think carefully. That's why it's important to make it stronger our intelligence. No, and, and also the will. And also will turn the person into satisfied project director, sure of himself and of the most high international level. The person will be sure if uh, has uh, these two important elements well uh, developed, the intelligence and the, and the will. Professionals who are not satisfied with managing existing wealth, but Professionals that look for wealth and create the wealth for all, who orient his personal and professional life to pursue, to pursue such an exact, exciting challenge. No more than ever, it is truth that project management is the answer to any crisis. And I think, especially in Latin America, and I am sure in the world, after this, the things are going to change very much.
and the crisis somehow will continue. Project management is the way to overcome all this crisis. The most effective roadmap to minimize the risk, the risk of making past mistakes. Finally, I want to say and remember uh, some Buddha's last words when he was dying. His disciple says, "What are the? Can you please tell me what are the most important things I should look for?" And he says, "Look for having." a clear intelligence, meaning a healthy intelligence, to see the things very clear, and a tender heart, you know, a heart who can have solidarity with others, who works not only for the company, but for the society, you know, to strong the will, to do, to look for good, for the good, no, not just for the for other things okay so thank you very much these are the things that i wanted to share with you friends thank you german uh it's a really very deep uh sometimes philosophy concept but uh, very i suppose um important for our life today and first of all i want to ask a question from our participant valentina share a question and how will you distinguish creative and divergent thinking? What? Creative and, you say? And di hear. divergent. Divergent, uh, divergent. Divergent. Divergent thinking. Yeah. It, the divergency originates creativity. If you, if you have a divergent thinking, this way of think will promote, will stimulate, your creativity. Sometimes uh, people who has this way of thinking <laughs> in the in the in your desk at the university somehow is in disorder. Uh, I have some friends who say, "Oh, you are very much disorder," but this is part of the divergent thinking to put some a kind, no, not too much, but some disorder to create new things. No, to, to do not follow always the same rule, the same way of, of doing things. You need to, to, to break, to destroy the old recipe and to think divergently to, to create new things. So I would say that divergent thinking originate, stimulate and cause creativity. Yep. Um, okay, thank you. And one more question. What do you think, what's the uh, main barrier or main challenge to teach uh, new project managers with uh, all these uh, points uh, what about you say what's main barrier what we need to solve oh this is a very good question if somebody wants to have a strong intelligence and a strong will this is a daily task Every time you, for example, I, I have a good friend, this is Professor, Professor Axel Meissen. Actually, he's from, from Germany and he's a very good professor. He was rector of the, the University of Newfoundland in Canada. You know? And he always come to Peru, collaborates with the university I work. And he always say, Herman, one of the things I love when I come to Peru is that I have the opportunity to have an intelligent conversation with you. <laughs> and this is excellent because in Peru, <laughs> I have many other friends, but with some other friends, very few intelligent conversation that we are talking about some minor things, su surface in the surface. But Axel, Axel told me that uh, it is important to have colleagues where we can uh, enjoy an intelligent conversation. So with this, this will be a very excellent uh, custom between uh, professors at the university, you know, to have not only a, okay, we can talk about soccer. Peru, by the way, is going bad in soccer, but, but soccer is okay, but we need to talk with other colleagues and the, the other professors to have professional and uh, intelligent conversations. So I could say that in order to do, to have a strong intelligence, we need to think, 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 and think, 
and we need to have a strong, intelligent conversation with others. This is important. And in order to make strong the will, we need to exercise the will every day also in the way you open the door. You don't just throw the door, you open well the door. In the way you answer your WhatsApp, in the way you answer the phone, you are doing well, you are doing good. In the way you talk, in the message you are giving to the, your students. So I would say that those are daily practices. Yeah, great. And one, one more small uh, question. What do you think, um, in general, our students and our society are ready for this uh, concept or not? No, because in this world, all the people, all my students are with the headphones, listening rock and roll or listening the new music they have. So they don't have, they don't stop to have silence. The, the world don't like silence. But if you want to have a deep thinking, you need silence. You need to, you need, you need to, and you need to meet with yourself. You, you need to have courage to see your project, your mistakes, your errors, your project life. And sometimes you have to have courage because you will find some things that are not white, that are black. So in that case, you will have to, to work with your, uh, your, your incompetence. You need to fix that. And people sometimes do not want to, to, to find that they, are, they have some incompetences and they don't want to fight against the, the error sometimes. That's why they are listening, 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 and doing, doing, doing. But, uh, but we need to go back to the silence. We need to, to understand and to love this because only in that way I can understand the project well, profoundly, and I can help. No, if you if you think carefully, you will understand and you will you will uh, be aware that in that project, in that moment, I made a mistake. First, you will discover your mistakes. Second, if you keep thinking, you will say that because of that mistake, my project and these people suffer. And third, if you keep thinking, this is the third degree. Of, 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 of thinking, let's say, you will discover that you have to go to that person and you have to fix and to say, I'm sorry, I made a mistake, sorry, we will do it again, sorry, but we can, we can, we can redo it. So it is very important to have this kind of reflections or recollections. Otherwise, life will, the life in the project and the personal life will not have this savor, this taste, this profound meaning that I need to find to understand that this project is worthwhile to work. I am putting everything in my project. I am putting my passion in this. But this you can discover only if you think, if you don't. But you need to move the intelligence and the move the will, not only one of them. Thank you. It's really a great deep discussion today. And uh, we go to the, our next speaker. Next Thank speaker you. is uh, Dr. Pablo Urquiza, president of uh, IPMA Uruguay, director of uh, thesis and professors PM at the Universidad Europeo de Atlantica. And today he will give a presentation on university project as responses to global challenges. Hi, Pablo. Nice to see you. Hi, hi, Benjamin. Thank you, thank, thank you and, and all the, the organizations for, for this webinar. I think it's very, very good. And I think the, the great part is that we can be connected, everybody for every part of the world. So I'm so congratulated for this. So good morning, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Let me let me share my my screen. 
It's it's all okay? Yeah, great. Excellent. Thank you very much. So after after those both presentations, I would like to, to share with, with everybody <clears throat> the the experience that we had in, in, in Uruguay in the last in the last past year since the the pandemic came here from from Uruguay and what happened with the with the project management and and the university in this in this sense first of all <clears throat> i want to introduce my myself very briefly so a little about about me i am a computer engineer master in strategic management of it's also, I am a master in direction management and project design. I'm a doctor in project engineer. And in my professional, I am a president of the Uruguayan Project Management Association, IPMA Uruguay. I am an international consultant in projects and, and IT and a thesis director from different universities. <clears throat> now, since the, since the, the inceptions in, in Uruguay, all the, the institutions taught classes according to the traditional teaching method. The teacher speaks and disposes his knowledge, the student listens, they score and, and then studied to, to be evaluated. That was what we, we made in Uruguay traditionally. In, in Uruguay, before the, the, the COVID, the 95% 90, of the, the education was face to face. Only the, the 3% of the education was semi face to face and the 2% of the, of the education was online also if we we say we we want to to study on on online it's we we, we have in in Uruguay not so good what happened the in, in partic particularly in in the in the university we had a, a school planning divided in in two semesters the first one start in march and and in in july and the second the second semester start in august and end in december in both semester, we have a lessons, workshop, partial, and a, an exam. The same in the in the second semester. What happened in March 13, the last year, 2020? We must we must make the the suspension of, of all our activities face to face because the the COVID arrived here. We, when we have the, the first uh, cases, all the activities here in Uruguay was suspended and the education was the, the, first, the first thing that we must stop. That, that was create a very great confusion because uh, in, in all the system, create a, a huge interrogant. What can we do now? All the students are at home. They they will not have the, the the class. They will not can study. What can we do about this? Because, as we say, the ninety five percent the 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 classes are are face to face, and that create a very huge problem for the government and for the private universities. And then appeared the black the black swan because 
In here in Uruguay, we don't have earthquake. We don't have nothing that uh, prepared for this. And this pandemic uh, make a an, an, an strong test for us in the, in the, in the manage of the risk. The teachers, the teachers and, and the student are without a physical contact. And, and the question was, how can we continue with the curricula? Applying the, the government response for this. And then we must apply the, the, the agile methodology. We must try to to think very, very fast. We must to replan all that curricula and we must, we must be very carefully in this. The education, the education system, the college, the high school, the technical school and the university must have to adapt to the online education and was a very huge uh, a very huge problem. But since uh, around 20, 2010 in Uruguay start a plan that we, we call Plan Seibal, that means one child, one PC per child. So 10 years ago, we start to deliver it to all, all the, the, the children in the school deliver a one computer to study at the school and also to continue study with that, that computer at home. That was a very, a very, very huge uh, base that we can apply the agile methodology for the study online. And then we must try for the directors, the teachers, the student, also to the ICT staff to this new methodology, applying the, the, the agile methodology, leadership by competence. And as Germán Gallardo explained in, in, his, in his presentation, we make the effort in competence. As Germán said, and I am totally agree. The competence is the, the addition of the knowledge plus the skill and plus the attitude. As he explained very, very de detailedly, we must make the focus in the competence of the people and also the element of the competence. The student has to, to the knowledge at his hand. We add here in Uruguay, the learning by doing, investigating and executing individually and in a groups. And here we apply the element of competence of a IPMA. When uh, we have the three areas of competence and also in that, in that area, the people, they have 10, 10 keys of element, in the practice, we have 14. And in the perspective, we, we have the five element of this competence. Applying this, applying this, we prepare to com competent generations. What does it mean? It's different the competence to the knowledge in this in this complex time of the constant change in the 21st century, the competent will inherit the world while the knowledge will find themselves perfectly prepared to face a world that does not exist, that not longer exist. Applying this, this means a, a big change for everyone. For the professor had to change they plan, they planning that they have a developer for years. They are very, in, in very accustomed to this, and the student must change the model. They were using 
use it to doing. And we must we must be very very clear in that in that objective that for the same goal we have a different motivations. And we make a very very huge effort in that. This change of process in this change of projects, we adapt the methodology to the current reality. The important things for us is the learning by doing. And we must apply this in this new methodology in, in online for the student. So in this way, we develop the basis of a preparation for the student of all levels, according to the level is what we is what is given. It is fundamental for today's world that VUCA is volatile, unpredictable, complex, and ambiguous. In that way, to this methodology began to the thought in school, high school, and university, where its objective is to, to give new generation the tools that the world needs today. Every, every change carries risks, fears that what will happen are people uncertainly. This is why in Uruguay, begun slowly, plan it and step by step. We start at the university training teacher, exposing the advantages of this methodology. Then it was implemented with the student, and at the end of the period, the progress was evaluated. The next step that they that we start the past March 2021 uh, was to go to high school in the same way. And the last step we are planning to the next year, they will be in the school with the youngest, youngest children. So the result was a whole are in process. Since it's a long-term job, since we since we we work with the new generations, but the prox the progress of the university student was seen because at the end of the students they have a preparation that differential them them they are competent. A very, very important thing for us. We must become aware that, that if we apply the methodology of learning based on project by competence, the future gener generation will be better than us and will be continuing the purpose a sustainable future. All that keys of the competence According to the, the, the World Economic Forum, they are all included in that. And that is very important for us. And also in the top job for the present, the project man management, management managers are in the 11. So that we Im impulse us to try to do to this and before COVID and before COVID, according to all, all that I explained, we have the past March 13, 2020, we have the suspension of, of all face-to-face -face activities and applying the agile methodology in March 23, we can apply the remote education education system. So only in 10 days, in 10 days, we we stop the education in Uruguay and 10 days and 10 days we start again with a new methodology. The, the application of the agile methodology to what was planned, along with the element of competence, as I say were fun fundamental to achieve 
our desired success. And that was very important for us. And for the end, I want to, to give to, to all the participants a fable. And that fable say, one morning <clears throat> in a farm, the, the farmer wake up very early in the morning and he say, hey, today is very special day. It's my lovely wife's birthday. I will make a very special gift. I will make his favorite breakfast and an omelette with a bacon. Very close to the farmer house. Listen what the farmer say. They were a pig and a chicken. And the pig say to the chicken, Hey, dear chicken, do you listen what the farmer say? Yes, say the chicken. Yes, it's a very important day for, for the farmer and his wife. It's the, the birthday. Yes, you are right. That's a very good project. But we have a problem in this project. Problem, say the chicken. I don't see a problem. What do you mean? And the, and the pigs say, in this project, my dear chicken, you, as a part of this, you are just involved. But me, in, in this project, I am committed because I will give my life for this project. So in our project, we get involved or commit ourselves. I will give you, I will wish you a success in your projects. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Pablo. Uh, great uh, finish, great end of the story. And I want to ask you really, I suppose, hard question, but maybe you have answer. Uh, pandemic, it's really uh, was a great challenge for us, but what do you think? What's uh, our next challenge? The I think... Our, our, yeah. Yes, I think I, the, the, our next challenge is try to be prepared, try to, to plan it, the risk manager, management very carefully because Try to think the thing that they not appear, the things that uh, we they never appear. We try to uh, plan it that they will have. Because as I say in Uruguay, uh, here in our country, it's very calm. We don't have airport, we don't have nothing. So for us was a, 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 very, a very huge imp impact. So uh, since the last, the last year to today, we are planning very, very carefully all, all the project, the personal project and the professional pro project. What we must manage all the, the risk management very, very carefully. Okay, thank you, great. And uh, also I have a question for all participants, for all spe speakers, Harald, Pablo, uh, German. Um, what do you think? Uh, now we have a lot of methodology, a lot of experiments, a lot of ex uh, experience in uh, project management at university. But what do you think? What we need uh, to take in main focus now? It's about teaching, or it's about transforming university, or it's about transforming science. What it's our our main focus we need uh, to use? Yes, here we we we, we transform our our education in Uruguay. Uh, also, this uh, March, this past March, uh, we start with the methodology in a distant. Uh, a distant education. 
we 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 must change our our head with this methodology and this make a huge effort also for the government and also for the particular university in in try to do this we have a, a very good point with the with the students because the youngest generation are with the, the open mind that different that that does that we we start to 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 the oldest methodology and we transform very fast that we were we are planning five years ago to begin this transformation but very slowly step by step and one day to another we must change this very fast and this for the for the all education system here in Uruguay uh, change the the mind and we are trying to do the best great thank you uh Harald German you one moment yes okay well uh, the several aspects. I will start with the methods. I think the agile methods become more and more important. Uh, is, is, uh, <laughs> uh, I agree to Pablo, he applied agile methods and um, you, uh, you have to drive slowly when it's uh, foggy. Yeah? And so it's a situation. You can't make a plan today for the next two or three years. For example, I can't make a plan to go to St. Petersburg at the moment. <laughs> I would like to go. <laughs> it's, it's impossible. So you have to plan in short uh, periods. It's like Scrum, yeah. And uh, I also agree to Pablo and German about project management for students. It's learning by doing. You give them the method and they will get from you projects or they look for themselves for projects and they work on the projects and you are the coach. You are the coach for them, you help them and uh, uh, they learn so many competences outside of project management they learn to communicate in, uh, in, in this uh, <laughs> times. Uh, um, and they learn uh, to find uh, tools which help them on their own. I can't uh, tell them all the tools of the world. There are thousands of tools. They find the right one and they don't uh, need a baby care. <laughs> they, they find the and, and uh, with this, uh, they, they learn a lot and they have to go into deep into the, the project uh, content. Yeah. And though they learn also new things about another area which belongs to the, the, to the project. So learning by doing is, a, I think, the, the method of the future for students. And uh, challenges, we have a lot of challenges around us, <laughs> climate change. I think that's a, a big challenge for all of us. And uh, I think the, also the dependency of monopolists, it's very, it's a big challenge to overcome this with open source software, for example. Yeah? Uh, uh, and uh, so, so <laughs> I can uh, tell you, I think, 100 challenges. Uh, well, we have uh, a lot of work to do. And I think um, in many countries, also in Germany, the, the management of the, the, the vaccine was not good. <laughs> uh, it was terrible in Germany, I think. Yeah? And uh, um, because the, the politicians have no uh, uh, experience of project management. And I think that's a, a wide area to tell them <laughs> to apply project management. They don't have to become a project manager, but they should uh, listen to project managers and they should know the idea of project management. 
to come together out of the, the departments coming together and uh, uh, doing the best for the people. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Harold. Absolutely agree. Okay, German, what's your opinion? Yeah, my 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 idea is that uh, first things first, meaning that first yourself, first the person, no, improve your competences, measure them, no, develop your career path. Those are key important things a person should should have. So um, if I am uh, uh, in a uh, in this book award, I need to to know where I am and where I want to go. So for doing that, I need to have my competences. What are my my strengths? What I what are my weaknesses? No, and uh, to check my competences to. With this, I can develop a career path. This is the first point. First, yourself. And the second, see the market. See your nation, your city. See what opportunities uh, appear. What the, company, what, what the companies need. What are the main things that the company are looking for? No? Uh, for example, in the case of, uh, of Latin America and in Peru, I would say, uh, May, many companies look for reliable people with good knowledge, but mainly reliable people. Would it be possible to join the needs of the city, of the market, with the needs that you have? Can you draw, can you, can you have this artistic uh, solution to, 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 to satisfy the need of yourself, the things you want to develop in your life, in your project management uh, profession, and the, the, the need of the society, would it be possible? You need to think for this. And the third point is uh, the, the best way to discover that you are in the right track is because you are enjoying, because you are happy because you discover that the things that you are doing, that your plan is, uh, is worthwhile. So um, I think it's, uh, the best way is to say, yes, I am okay with this. I am happy with this, meaning that I am in the right track. I am doing the right things to do. Even when the things sometimes are difficult, but I would say in my work, I am in the right things because these are deepest, this is a deep, uh, deep uh, concern, a deep uh, affirmation, a deep thing that I have. I am in the right thing. So in that way, you are, are as we say, killing two, two birds with a single ballot, no? The need of the company and the need of your professional development. That is important, but this, this means this needs uh, creativity always. Needs, uh, profound thinking absolutely absolutely and uh, here i want to once again to remember for our participant that you still have time to become a member of the congress uh, don't delay uh, buy your tickets now this year you can participate in the congress offline and online and administrators please uh, send a link to the congress website into the chat and I want to say thank you for active question and your interest in the 32nd APME World Congress. And I hope to see you all at the Congress on 21, 23 September in St. Petersburg or online. And also in the end, I ask a few minutes of our speaker because I see that in chat we have uh, uh, three questions each for, uh, for each of you. And uh, first question for uh, German, uh, for, from Michelle. German, did you take the socialization aspects of person into account? It was a question for you. This is, uh, this is important for project managers. Uh, uh, all project managers somehow left a legacy because the projects always uh, left something to the city, to the company, to the society. 
So of course, it is very important. I want to be competent, not only because I want to be proud, because I, I am proud, I, because I am very skillful, because I am very competent. No, I, I, I want to develop competences in my, uh, to develop competences because I want to serve people. There is a new concept that I was listening from some people from England. Uh, they are talking about servant leadership. So the, the leader should serve others. In that way, you will understand more and deeply. So of course, it is very important to be good, not just for oneself, but for others. In that way, you will be even more happy, happier in your life. If you share the things, for example, in this moment, I am sharing my thoughts with you. And I can tell you that after this exercise, I am the main uh, person who benefit for this activity. <laughs> so this is the, the, the beautiful thing of the human being, that when you share, you grow a, a lot. So of course, you need to, to socialize. You need to be worried about others, to, to leave a legacy, to, le no, to, to, to put a legacy for the people who are coming in your city, in your region, your company, everything. Thank you, really great. Um, uh, question from Robert uh, to Pavla. Hello, in Romania we faced also the online schools, uh, but how you have managed to adapt the method of teaching online in 10 days? Because in Romania there is some trouble with internet and so on, and also big challenge with all teachers because they are not very familiar with IT methods. How you did it in 10 days? Yes, <clears throat> uh, as, I, as I say, uh, since 10 years ago, we start with a plan that we call uh, one PC per child. So in, in that plan, we, we, give, uh, uh, we, we give to the children one PC and also, we start to train the teachers to the, the IT methods. So that allow us that all the teachers know the, know the, the, the methodology to use the computer, to use how we can uh, connect with the, with the student by the computer. So this make a very huge base for us to start this, this new methodology. For this reason, uh, we in 10, days, in, 10, in 10 days, we can start with the online uh, education. Also, it's good to say, uh, we, must, we, we, we made a, a very intensive course for the teachers in the first and for the student in the second place in, in, in the general of this methodology. For example, it's not the same teach to the student in, in the class looking eye to eyes the, uh, than the computer uh, with this, like this, it's very different. We, we made a five days course for the teachers and in parallel for the student. But the base, the base in this was these 10 years that we are preparing the teacher and the student in this. Great. It's uh, like a case about uh, your presentation, like that we need uh, to work with risk management be before this series. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. And um, Harald, question for you from uh, Jose. From your presentation, I see a tremendous shifting to Agile, which was created for product management and only a glimpse of traditional project management. How do students react to traditional once they go to know Agile? Do they feel the need to have a project manager role? When you go to agile project uh, project management um, normally you don't have a project manager the role of a project manager 
you know, in Scrum, you have the product owner and the Scrum master, yeah? And in Kanban, Kanban has, uh, at the beginning, no roles, yeah? Or the, the old roles, and you can, uh, uh, and the team, that's important, I think, decides which roles are necessary for this sp specific project. Not the, the, the environment, and uh, gives you a, a special role concept, which don't suit, perhaps don't, not to the, to the project. The team itself, it's self-managing team, yeah? And they decide themselves uh, which roles are necessary and which roles are not necessary. Okay, great, thank you. And I see that Eric wants to say something. Eric, very shortly, yeah. okay? Yeah, yeah, very shortly. On, on this team, uh, when we teach in a recent, taught in a recent course, uh, students, both traditional methods, agile and hybrid, and then ask them at the end of the course, which, which methodology brought you the most personally? I was actually surprised to learn that most of the students had planning, because agile, they get very quickly, but <clears throat> they said, we don't plan ourselves, and now we have learned a structured way of planning. So I think this gives an answer that we, we cannot forget about traditional mm -hmm. product management. That's the basis. So even in agile, uh, uh, you need some sort of planning. Well, my experience is um, that uh, it depends on the project itself. I think some projects you need traditional project management in the next decades. And some uh, bro uh, 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 projects like uh, um, IT projects, software development projects, I think uh, uh, the, the traditional methods play a very small role. And the students should know, um, I think the, the canon of the, 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 the methods the traditional HR and uh, they should have the competence, the competence to take the right method or to the right combination of methods to the out, out, out of the box and to apply it uh, to, the, to their uh, special project. That's what I try to teach them. So they uh, can uh, do this in practice later. Thank you. And okay, uh, in the end, I want to say thank you for all our speakers, Pablo, Harald, German. You have uh, great experience in project management at the university. And uh, thank you participants for great question and comments. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's absolutely obvious that we have a lot of experience in different part of world and it's different experience and we need to collect and share this knowledge. And also we need increasing our community, smarter you. And sometimes we need more time for ourselves with silence to thinking about our personal competence and our personal way to increase the project management. Thank you all. See you in St. Petersburg or online in World Congress. And bye. And successful in your project. You. Yeah. Take care. Bye. Happy project. Happy yeah. projects. Okay. Happy Take projects. Care. Take care. <laughs> Happy projects. Yeah. Okay. Ciao. Thank you. Bye bye.